Okay, today we're looking at Zoro Matanzas. I may be mispronouncing that, so I apologize. Uh, but this is a kind of miniseries comic put out by Dynamite, but it's using the characters in the Zoro as how Don McGregor had written it. So in the uh, early 90s, there was a Zoro run also written by Don McGregor, again with the art by Mike Mayhew. And it was kind of a short-lived run, didn't do a ton of uh, issues. But it's nice to see kind of Dynamite's picking this up, and they had released a, a four-issue miniseries. So I quite like uh, Mike Mayhew's art here. It's quite good. And I do like uh, McGregor's writing and his take on Zorro here. Now, you don't really have need to have written, uh, or re rather read, the earlier top stories, you can still get this. If you know the basic Zorro characters, you can get it. You might not know kind of the main bad guy in this particular story, but you don't need to. I mean, you can figure it out quite quickly. And uh, it is a very bloody, very gory uh, story, but I, I still think it's a really excellent and well-told kind of... Yeah, it, this is one of the more bloody stories that still really has good, strong, uh, you know, family values. And it, it's really a lot of it is the relationship uh, with, between Zorro and his father, uh, you know, the De La Vegas. And a very well told story. It's a little bloody for my taste, but it's not like buckets of blood that I can't, I can't still read it. Um, so if you're a Zorro fan at all, especially if you liked uh, the top Zorro stories from the early 90s, this recombines the team of McGregor and Mayhew and tells just a, a interesting Zorro story. And uh, I mean, Zorro is just kind of one of those evergreen uh, properties that you can keep telling stories again and again. And uh, this nice mini series just uh, tells a fantastic story with uh, great art and uh, I recommend it again uh, if you're a little shy on blood you don't want to see that then I would pass on it but otherwise I would recommend this